In this video, we'll go over adding inventory controls to your products, as well as creating product variations. If you're not familiar with what product variations are, it's when you have a product, but you might have a couple variations of it that you'd like to sell on the single product page. You see this frequently with Amazon. In fact, here's a product that I recently purchased on Amazon, and it's these candles. And you can see here there's three different variations of it based upon the height of the candle. So there's something different about these products to where they'll have a separate SKU number, potentially a separate price. And that's what product variations are. And this is what a product variation will look like inside of Surecart. Here's a product that I added some variations for and I added variations for color as well as size, and this is what the variation selector will look like. You can see that you can have multiple variations of a single product. So if I wanted a color of, say, bamboo, you can see these variations are out of stock, and when it's selected, there's a cross out over the variation combo, and the buttons change to sold out, but I can go here and I can choose a product that is in stock, add this to my cart or buy it now. This is very easy to set up in Shortcart. So let's take a look. Here's a product that we have on the same store that doesn't have the inventory controls enabled or product variations. And I'd like to add a product variation for size and for color. This is gonna be very easy to do. What we'll do first is go into the product editor. I'll click here where it says edit product. And then I'll scroll down and you can see currently this product is set to have a one-time price and it only has a single variation. So first let's enable the inventory controls. Now with this enabled, you can have inventory with or without product variations. So you would toggle this on and then we get another option here that is to allow out of stock selling. So if you want to still sell products that are out of stock, you can do that by enabling this option. Next, we'll set the stock that is available for this product. And right here, we also have an option for the stock keeping unit, the SKU number. But right here, we're gonna add some product variants. So I'm gonna click on this button here to add my first variant. And we want to give the option a name, and this is what shows on the front end. So I will first have it be for color. So I'll type color, just like that. And then I'll click here where it says option value, and I'll start entering in the color options that are available. So I can enter in blue. And as I started typing in, a line revealed underneath it to enter a second value. And I'll choose that and I'll choose black and let's choose one more color and let's call this one white. There we go. Now I'm done setting the color options. I'll click on done. Now, if at a later date you add additional colors, it's going to be very easy to come back here and click on this edit button right here and add additional colors. But for now, I'll click on done and you can see underneath it, the initial variations have been created for the blue, the black, and the white variation of this chair. Now let's take a look at this line here to see the options we have. First, we can set a unique image for that product variation. We can set a unique price. We can set the quantity for this variation as well as its own SKU number. Then we have the three dots here if you want to remove this particular variation. Okay, let's add a second option. I'll click where it says add more options and this one will call size. And we follow the same steps that we did for color. We'll enter in our sizes and I'll do small, medium, and I'll do large. There we go. And I'll click on done. Now we have two different options, a color option and a size option. And what we've automatically done here is created all the variation combos that could be available. So blue and small, blue and medium, blue and large. And the same goes for all of the different combinations. This is where the delete option comes to play. Say you don't carry a small version in blue. Well, you can go here, 
You can click the three dots and then you can click on delete. You could do this for any of these variations. So let's go ahead and delete this white large option right here. And let's delete that. Perfect. Now that won't show as an option on the front end. Also, you could rearrange the order of these. If you wanted a buyer to select size before color, you can just drag and drop these like that, as well as you can rearrange the buttons that will display. You'll click on edit and you can rearrange these. So if you wanted the black option to show first, then the blue and then the white, we just made that edit that quickly and that easily. Next, you'll need to set the quantity of inventory that you have for each of these variations that have been created. To do this, you simply click on the quantity and you can set the inventory right here. So let's put each for an inventory of 10 and I'll do that for each of these product variations. So I've set the inventory now to 10, except for the version that is white in the medium size, I've left that at zero. Next, I'm gonna set a higher price for all of the large versions of this chair. And you can simply go here and enter in that price. So I could do 349.99, and I'll carry this into all of the larger variations that we have. And down here, we're not showing the white in large because it's not an option we have. There we go, we have it all set up. We have our variations and we have our quantity set up. Let's go ahead and click on save product and then we'll click on view product to see what it looks like. And you can see the variation selector has now been added. So we have the color option here and you can see you could choose those. And then we have the size. And you can see the price is $299, but if I choose the large variation, it's changed up here to $349. Also, when I choose the white color, remember we did not have the large option as an option that is available. The medium option was sold out and we only carried the small option. So next I want to show you how you can edit these messages that display when an item, a variation is out of stock, as well as what displays when one of the variations is just does not exist. And then I'll show you how to customize the styles here. For this, we're gonna go back into edit product. We'll go over here where it says template. We'll click on the template here and we'll click on edit template. What this is gonna do is adjust the product template for all of your products so that you can style it here one time and it will apply everywhere. Now let's click into the variation selector right here and it's gonna reveal some options inside of the panel. You have options to customize the text color, the background color, the size of the topography, adjust the padding and the margin and add a border radius to the buttons. All of these options are right here, but out of the box, it's looking pretty good to me. Next, I want to show you how to change the text of these buttons when a product is out of stock or if it's just not an available variation. You can click on each button and it will display the options right here. So if a variation is out of stock, this is the label that will display. And if the variation doesn't exist and it's unavailable, this right here is the label that will display. So you get total control over how this is set for each of these buttons. Here's what your buyer will experience when they are adding one of the variations to the cart. They can choose the variation. And when they click on add to cart, the slide out cart will appear. And you can see it has the main product name. And then it says the variation blue and then large. So I can collapse this and let's put another variation. Let's put the blue in medium and let's add that to cart. And you can see both variations are showing here separate and these variations had different prices on them. And as well, when you go to the checkout, it's going to show those different variations right there. And when each product is purchased, it's gonna tick down on the inventory so it's automatically managed right there. 
And that's all there is to it, to adding product variations to your products, adding inventory control, and custom styling the product page.